Hey folks, welcome to Get Out Weekend. I'm Mandy Zajac with the East Valley Tribune and you're watching the webcast where we give you some of our favorite ideas for fun things to do over the weekend. You can sample some cowboy cooking Saturday at the Chandler Chuck Wagon Cook-Off. 8 teams working with 1880s era ingredients, utensils, and methods will prepare meat, bread, beans, and dessert outdoors Saturday at the Tumbleweed Ranch Historic Site. You can get samples of their food for $2 or buy a meal plate for $10. Aside from watching them work and tasting vittles like chicken fried steak, stew, and biscuits, you'll find shootout reenactments, candle dipping, wheel making, blacksmithing, and a petting zoo. There's also a home and grocery store from the early 1900s that are open for tours. The Cowboys will be cooking rain or shine and admission is free. There's also a marshmallow roast with 10 campfires and a singing cowboy on Friday night. That's free too. For details, check out www.chandleraz.gov slash chuckwagon. Okay, next up, you can make some melodic memories over at Arizona Kidstock. It's a little farther out of the way than we usually like to send you, but Kidstock is the only event of its kind going on this fall, and it promises fun for even your littlest music lover. Patterned after 1969's Woodstock Music Festival, this Goodyear event is aimed at enriching kids' imaginations, promoting creativity, educating, and entertaining. PBS's Crap Brothers will tell stories and host an interactive stage show, the Electrolytes, a hip-hop dance crew from Gilbert that appeared on the TV show America's Got Talent, will also perform. There's also a full slate of kid-friendly music acts and other performers, including Arrowheart and Carly Page. PBS characters Maya and Miguel, Super Y and Sid the Science Kid will be there, and you'll find arts, crafts, science projects, and activities at Fun Zones with names like Hippie Haven, Flower Child Village, Peace, Love, and Tie-Dye, and Wavy Gravy's Hog Farm. You can also sumo wrestle in padded suits, and parents can get chair massages and other treats in a timeout zone designed just for them. Kidstock takes place Saturday. Get details and tickets via www.kidstockaz.com. And finally, the last steam locomotive built for Union Pacific Railroad chugs through the valley this weekend in honor of Arizona's centennial. Engine 844 was delivered in 1944 as a high-speed passenger engine. It went into freight service from 1957 to 1959 and is now in special service as an ambassador for the railroad. The locomotive will arrive at 12.45 p.m. Saturday in Gilbert at the east end of downtown by the park and ride lot. You'll be able to see the train and its historic support cars. Other attractions include historical displays, Arizona's territorial band, a farmer's market, and bounce houses for the kids. After the Gilbert stop, the train will make a short stop in Tempe and a day-long one in Phoenix. Seeing the train is free. For details, go to www.upsteam.com. All right, these are the three items we've chosen to showcase, but there are lots more things going on this weekend. You can tour the impressive Rose Garden at Mesa Community College, catch the Arizona Festival of Horses in Queen Creek, and taste your way through the Desert Botanical Garden at Chili's and Chocolate. The Herd Museum Spanish Market and Certified Local Fall Festival are going on in Phoenix, and the Traveling Vietnam Memorial Wall is at Tempe Beach Park. Okay, now there's a good chance of rain this weekend, so be sure you call or go online to confirm that events are still on before you drive out. And if you want to stay dry, remember you can always go to the movies. J. Edgar and Immortals are out this weekend. That does it for us. Thank you for clicking in. We'll see you back here next time.